Now, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and GoFundMe, if these names don't ring a bell, then you may not know about the latest new way businesses are being funded. Fox 26's Rachel Lee joins us live from the newsroom about local businesses using this method to help with startup costs. Rachel? That's right, Adam. Crowdfunding sites have helped new businesses like the Paradox Theater and the soon-to-open bookstore, The Tiger's Den Open. Disaster-stricken businesses like the First Word House and Rumor Salon are also raising funds to help get back up and running. Even if somebody gives a dollar, it's a huge encouragement because they're saying, I stand behind what you're doing. And so that really gives us the momentum to keep, keep going too. Paradox didn't meet its goal of $30,000, but received $4,000 in pledges to help. In its several months of fundraising, the Tiger's Den has surpassed its goal of $2,500, both accomplishing its goals by offering incentives to its donors, like free apparel or drinks. One of our uh, levels of contribution, if, if you donated so much, we would uh, create a drink and name it after uh, the, the, the donor. And uh, there were nine people that, uh, that went that route, so they're going to be permanent parts of our uh, drink menu. Both say that even if crowdfunding campaigns fall short of their goals, the word of mouth is worth trying it out. If you put together a decent video, like we put together a video, um, people are going to click on it, they're going to learn about it, so it's a great way to to get the word out and market. The Tiger's Den is set to open in the next couple of weeks. To donate, visit the GoFundMe link on its Facebook page.